guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Masculine, how's it going? Uh, so this is going to be a Yang reading for um, April the 1st until the 7th. So I haven't decided what kind of spread I want to do. You know what, I haven't used these cards for a long time, so let's go ahead and use them. Um, this is Terra Illuminati. So I think I'm going to do, I'm being guided to do a split Divine Partnership. So I think I'm going to use different cards for different rows, okay? So um, we'll pull the first three cards here. So this is how you view the relationship, what you're resisting, um, message from your higher self. And I believe this is the Witch's Tarot. Let me just look at the book. Yep, the Witch's Tarot. Um, yeah. Um trying to read who it's by. Dugan. Okay, so this will be for the past position, the present, and the future. Okay, and this one is a deck by Eller Shaw, and it's, I think it's just called the Easy Tarot. Okay, this will be the message for the universe, or from the universe, um, your external environment, and what you fear. And I think I'm just going to pull a random card from this uh, Gilded Tarot for the bottom of the deck. And I almost looked at it. I don't think we need to look at it right this moment. All right, so... I'm just going to give my deck here a little shuffle just in case I want to pull a clarifier. So this will be the basic reading. Um, I'll be posting this to my website as well as Patreon. And then I will record the extended reading afterwards, which again I'll, I'll post to uh, the Patreons. All right, so let's begin. So, how do you view the relationship with the feminine? Five of Swords. So, you, you know, you just need to look at the picture to see what's kind of going on here. There's a sense that this person has won a battle, and there are people walking away. You know, they're kind of in disgust. They're, you know, he looks proud of himself standing there with all those swords. You know, so he's winning at all cost. So this card is also about pointing your finger at somebody, um, pushing someone's buttons, you know, very um, negative energy that's coming from the mind. So that's how you're feeling about the relationship. So I'm going to just pull a clarifier. Eight of Swords. So more swords, mental stuff, thoughts, right? So the Eight of Swords is the mental prison you feel locked out of this connection and it's oppressive energy coming from the outside so something is making you feel this way but you you hold the key to your own prison so you feel locked out of the relationship you feel um that there have been some battles some arguments maybe some negative thoughts rolling around in your mind um that is keeping you locked out and if you watch the twin flame reading um the de the feminine was definitely being closed off um, in this week's reading. So, yeah, the mess, you're definitely picking up on that vibration for sure. Okay, so what are you resisting? The Queen of Cups. So, the Queen of Cups could represent a water sign, um, but really, this represents an emotional connection, a deep loving bond with somebody. Uh, feminine and this could be your energy as well so this is um, a double emotional card right so all Queens 
are water and you know cup is water as well so um, there is some very deep emotions here that are being felt but it's in your resisting position so she's also very intuitive as well and that theme of using your intuition was very strong uh, in the twin flame reading you got the third eye chakra twice so message from your higher self is another sword so the prince of swords is the knight of swords so you can see there's <laughs> hold on a moment <coughs> <coughs> sorry i'm still getting over my cold here um so the knight of swords is a very chaotic energy you can see you know it's very windy um, there's a lot of chaos a lot of fighting battling energy there now the knight is could represent somebody who is a thrill seeker who is um, a social butterfly they love to talk they love to take action but you know they fight to fight they don't you know they'll fight for anybody basically but they are the people's champion now your higher self is telling you to move forward and that was another theme in the twin flame reading the overall message from the universe was the charioteer take action so your higher self is asking you to move forward but to do it in a very controlled way don't do it you know um, with guns a blaring basically if there's something you need to say if there's something you want to communicate with the tw with your divine feminine um, your higher self is telling you to take action but do it in a very um, controlled way so what is the message from the past the two of cups wow okay so this is spiritual union um, this is making a, a, a commitment to your twin flame but it's also recognizing your twin flame so the heart chakra is activated which elevates the consciousness so you're coming from a very loving space and we got this connection with the Queen of Cups so you know you you feel locked out but you are resisting moving forward and taking action or connecting with the feminine um, there is definitely a deep connection there that you've recognized in the past and in the twin flame reading you can actually feel that vibration as well you get the four of wands in the near future which is a confirmation of a twin flame connection so in the present position we have the shadow side so this is the moon and it represents your shadow side you know all those things that you're left hidden in the dark right you can see um, this cloaked person in the background and they're coming towards this couple and the couple are hiding right so this could be an avoidance card but really you know there's a sense of running away from something that you're afraid of you're not facing your fears so that's in your present position so let me just pull a clarifier for that the two of wands the feminine actually got this in her past position for the twin flame connection so you you feel this crack or this door open opening um, you you also had the ace of wands in your past position so this is, would be a natural progression from the ace to the two so this could mean that you are seeing that there's a problem that there's something that is that needs to be resolved um, maybe you're in an environment that is creating this this sense that you need to withdraw um, somebody may be triggering your shadow side to come out and so the door is open um, so you can embark on a new journey a new spiritual journey um, and you know really face your fears so we have you locked behind bars up here and here there's a door a, a potential door that is open because remember this is a confirmation card right it isn't fully open yet it could be advice from the universe to walk through that door and you can see that you know your higher self is telling you to do something you know to to cut away those fears your shadow side to face that monster in the background 
Okay, so what's in the future position is the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, the feminine got this um, in the extended part of the reading. She got the Ten of Pentacles um, in the present position coming from the past. It was attached to the Two of Wands. So there is this idea of a long-term goal, um, a sense of stability, home, everyone's being looked after, um, that come, is kind of coming in from the past and um, now it's making itself known in your future. The Queen of Pentacles also showed up a couple of times. So there's this sense that you you want a home that is safe. You want stability. You're not getting that right now in the present moment. You feel locked out of this connection. But if you want this, you need to fight for it. And it looks to me like you do, essentially. So I'm just going to pull one more card here. The Ten of Pentacles again. Double whammy. There is... Home is in your future. You just need to walk out that door and face your fears. Okay, so message from the universe. Wow, the Empress. So this tells me that, you know, the universe knows that you know who your twin flame, Divine Feminine, is. Um... She is home. And to embrace that, you know, and show her how you feel about her. Create that loving space, that welcoming space where, you know, everyone's provided for. And just enjoying life. You feel grounded. She's another grounded energy. She's also a card of manifestation as well. So the universe is asking you to embrace the Divine Feminine and um, or for you to embrace the feminine side of yourself. Okay, so what is in the external environment? Wow, Emperor. So we got the Emperor and the Empress right beside each other. Um, so what is that telling me? The Emperor in your external environment so either this could be a, you know, a boss, somebody with authority, um, somebody that is making you do things maybe you don't want to do, or this could be your energy is there to embody, you know, this emperor energy is there for you to embody, but you're not fully, you know, um, embracing the emperor. The Emperor is all about action as well. He takes control of situation. He directs people. So I'm just going to pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean? Seven of Swords. So what I'm picking up from this is there's somebody in your environment, the Seven of Swords, that is making you feel that you can't trust them. You know, that you're being, you know, there's these secrets that are being kept from you. And so maybe you view the Divine Feminine as the Emperor, somebody who is, you know, um, you can't knock them down. You know, they're, they're in power. And so you're kind of questioning their motives with the Seven of Swords. So I'm going to pull a clarifier here for the Empress. The Devil. Interesting. So, you know, this is a message from the universe. So the ego is a chain, a codependent relationship addiction. So this card was a major theme for the feminine side. Overall, there, you know, the message from the universe was for her to unchain herself from, um, like I said, either an addiction or a dependent relationship. So... Maybe she is showing her ego side, projecting this ego side of herself. And the universe is asking you to look behind the mask, see the true Divine Feminine. Don't allow your ego to put nasty thoughts in your mind. You know, you're locked out because you believe that you are. You can take action to free yourself, to cut whatever chain you know, is holding you back. 
and I mean the same goes for the feminine as well obviously but you see that there's an issue with thoughts you know this could also be the ego could be you as well you know you're getting this energy of um, nastiness throughout your reading so yeah look beyond the mask see the feminine for who she truly is, this is a strong strong message that I'm getting here what do you fear you fear the seven of pentacles you fear waiting you fear that um, if you invest in the future with the feminine it might not work out but you're getting a ten of pentacles twice in the future that harvest is coming so there's nothing to fear you know true love is worth waiting for okay so let's look at the overall energy it's wow the Emperor again so um, for that week that coming week you're going to be in the Emperor energy and you're dealing with an Emperor in your environment and the message from the universe is to possibly be the Empress um, be in that gentle loving nurturing energy rather than a forceful um, emperor maybe um, or you know be the emperor and take action right um, discover the truth for yourself don't allow those fears to consume you and take action because there's abundance um, and stability long-term stability in your future you know you felt this twin flame connection in the past and it looks like it's going to be manifested in, in the future so yeah don't let petty arguments and negative thoughts stop you okay so I'm gonna pull two cards for a message from the universe so I'm using Miss and Mermaids So for the masculine first, absinthe mermaid. That's interesting because that's the card that the feminine got. Almost, I'm almost thinking that that's hers. Oh, we got this card is in reverse. So shipwreck siren for the feminine. Okay, so number 26. Languid with barely the strength to lift my head, I indulge in more, my decadent drink, my viridian vice. I crave more, I succumb to more. I am myself no more. A comatose green mermaid is draped in a toxic stream of bottles, skulls and poisons. She is drugged and lethargic, a slave to the torpid addiction. She seems at risk of being washed away at a moment's notice. So the meaning is beware of dependency, absinthe, mermaid, has wallowed in her addiction for too long. She has become languid. You have also spent too long immersed in an addiction or dependence. Addiction and dependence saps one's energy and robs one of vitality and strength. Something in your life, a substance, an obsession, or an unhealthy relationship is draining your life essence and needs to let it go. Um, seek assistance from a trusted friend, a wise person in your community, or a professional to help you rid your you of your unhealthy attachment before it's too late. Once you have escaped, reevaluate your life and take stock of your frailties. What led you down the path of addiction and dependence in the first place? What steps can you take to avoid stumbling down the rabbit hole again? So this is the overall message from the universe. And remember that the Empress and the Ego came in in the universe position, um, you know, with the sense of try to understand um, that codependent chain or whatever it is um, is being let go of by the feminine or needs to be let go of by you it's um, you know the the line between feminine and masculine is really blurred in this reading 
Which is, you know, good because it, it shows me that you're actively trying to balance both aspects of yourself. You know, we are both yin and yang. One side is more dominant than the other. So, yeah, um, you know, since it's the same card that the feminine got in her reading, um, I'm just feeling, you know, try to have compassion, you know, if the feminine is going through a difficult time. Um, and, you know, um, if it's you that is dealing with the addiction or what have you, be loving to yourself, right? Um, don't overindulge. Um, you know, if you're drinking too much, you know, the, it's like you're drinking to forget or to feel better, to make yourself numb. Um, but really, you know, that problem is always going to be there. You're just avoiding it. You're not facing it. Okay, so the feminine got shipwreck siren in reverse. Okay, sing me siren of those lustfully depraved, of gluttony, excitement, and vanity displayed. Sing to me, siren of excess and greed, of sl slothful indulgence and heady mead. Sing to me, siren of a debauchery and fame, of riches and shiny things. I'll stand fast yet again. A deceptive siren smiles gently at her victims behind her. However, we see her true intention. She has lured an unsuspecting ship's crew towards the jutting rocks of her island. She tests the wills of those she seeks and takes advantage of the weak and undisciplined. So in reverse, your rigidity is damaging. Add more flexibility to your life and you will add resilience. Even the strongest oak can break, bran break branches in the wind and likewise. You too can snap under the great pressure. Be like a bamboo or the willow. Bend with the changing winds and you will never crack. Okay, so I just realized I didn't need to read this extra card because this reading was for the Divine Masculine only. Um, but it further kind of confirms the fact that, you know, the ego is still playing its part and the feminine is being closed off to the connection. She needs to open up and let you in. Right, and so, you know, don't fall into, um, you know, this deep pit of despair. <laughs> you know, it's like a virus. If somebody's being closed off to you, don't be closed off to them. Be the opposite. Give them love. Give them understanding and compassion. All right, so I'm going to stop the video there. We're going, I'm going to do the extended part of this reading. Um, so I'm going to be pulling three cards, past, present, and future, for each position, and that will give us um, a deeper understanding of what's truly happening in this reading. All right, cheers guys. Okay, welcome back. So we are going to be doing the extended version now. So these are already considered to be the present position. Um, so we'll pull, you know, past and future for those positions as well. All right, so let's begin. So in terms of how you view the relationship, we got the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords in the present position. So I'll pull the past first, King of Cups, and the Death card. So here we have the King and the Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups is coming in the past position, which means, you know, either this represents a water sign or that you were really feeling a lot of emotion um, towards the Queen of Cups, which you're resisting, or towards the Empress. Um, so in terms of this relationship, you felt this deep connection, this deep love. Um, however, you know, you feel locked out of it in the present moment. The future position, we have the Death card, which is a transformation. So this is death of the ego, death of the old identity. So you're putting an end to feeling that Five of Swords feeling that conflict and defeat and feeling imprisoned, you will be going through a metamorphosis as, you know, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis 
or the snake shedding its skin for men, probably you'd like that metaphor a little bit better. But yeah, it's um, there's a major transformation in process. Okay, so what are you resisting? The lover's card in the past, the six of swords, and the ten of wands. So the lover's card in the past. This is deep passion, um, longing, hunger. You know, it's a sexual pa passion that you feel for your twin flame. So it's an ignition. So, you know, this coming in, in the past is pointing to the, the Queen of Cups. You know, you felt this deep passion for this this um, woman that you loved very deeply. You know, it's repeated theme over and over again coming from the past. However, uh, in the present position for the resisting, you have the Six of Swords, which is moving to a calmer state of mind. Um, you know, there are thoughts keeping you in prison, so you need to calm those thoughts and not resist whatever these feelings or emotions that you're feeling. The future position, we have the Ten of Wands, which is a completion. Um, so this is feeling burden. This is uh, feeling like you're, you've taken on too much and you're just exhausted. So you collapse in exhaustion. Now this showed up in the near future present, or near future past position in the Twin Flame reading. So there was a sense that you completed a cycle and that you are starting a new cycle. But again, this is in the resisting position. So maybe you're... Um, you know, there's something that's burdening you that you need to put an end to. Okay, so your message from your higher self, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups again, and the Queen of Swords. Ten of Swords, past position, so this is the ending to the dark night of the soul. Um, so you put an end to something and you know you, you put an end to that so that you can allow this this spiritual union to come through or begin anew but it doesn't feel like it's fully manifested because it is in the past and this is a message from your higher self which is saying that there's that love there for you and perhaps you feel that um something has ended and you know, you feel locked out of it. So, the future position may have the Queen of Swords. So, this um, could represent a feminine who is an air sign, but usually I, I read the, it as an energy. So, this is somebody ha who has um, cutting communication, like cutting words. She speaks her truth. It's the Ice Queen. Um, you know, and she seeks the truth as well. Now, the main energy card is the Knight of Swords. So we got two, well, we have three air um, energy here with the Two of Cups right at the center. So your higher self is telling you to move forward in a controlled manner and cut any ties that are holding you back, put something to an end once and for all. Um, and then we kind of see you doing that, but you're doing it in a very controlled manner. The Queen of Swords doesn't ride around in chaos, right? She's very controlled. She speaks her truth. Um, yeah, honest communication. I, I like to see that resolved the way it is. It's beautiful. Okay, so in the past position, we have the Two of Cups. Ace of Wands, cool synchronicity there. Wow, the Yang and the High Priestess. So. Ace of Wands, past position. Remember I mentioned this was coming in your past position for the Twin Flame reading. So it's a go light, go time. Um, Kundalini awakening, inspiration. So this spark was ignited. You can see that spark. Um, the passion, the love that you felt um, in this connection. And so we got the Emperor again. So that's three times now that the Emperor has shown up in this reading. So this connection has brought out the authenticity within yourself, your true power is authenticity. So, um, you know, this connection made you realize who you are as a divine masculine. So this light went off, you, you embarked on the spiritual journey that has led you to this twin flame connection. And 
we have another co synchronicity, which is the high priestess in the future position. And remember, I mentioned that the intuitive card kept on showing up the third eye chakra. Here, well, here we go again. So you are, you know, very powerfully drawn by your intuition and have been. You have a deep knowing and understanding of this connection that's unlike anything you've ever experienced before. And it has opened your heart as well as your consciousness. Okay, so your present position, we had the Two of Wands as well. So there's a door that's opening. Past first, the moon, okay. Future, nice, magician. So uh, the moon in the past position, that's the exact same card here, the shadow side. Okay, so in the present position, there's a sense that you are walking through that door, walking, um, like facing your fears. And beautiful, we have the master manifester in the future, the, the alchemist. Um, which is the magician, and so it's a very powerful activation. So this is using your um, your focus and your attention to manifest your reality. So it's a new beginning. So that's beautiful. You're stepping into your power out of fear, away from fear, facing your fears. Okay, so in the future position we have these two ten of pentacles double whammy, an 11. So past first, nice, the nine of cups and the five of wands. So nine of cups, past position, again, pointing to the past, this connection, right? The, this is wish fulfilled card, uh, feeling emotionally satisfied and celebrating life. So this, you know, feeling of love and connectedness is bringing manifest and manifestation to towards you as you know as long as you're in this positive vibration um, you will attract abundance into your life and however in the future we have the five of wands so this is overcoming obstacles and challenges uh, but they're minor obstacles minor challenges so they're meant to make your light shine brighter so I'm a little confused as to why that's showing up in the future so let me just pull a clarifier for that Okay, so I have a smaller deck here. What do you mean by the Five of Wands? This one? Change is coming. Okay, so... Change is coming after the double Ten, ten of Pentacles. Huh. Still doesn't really answer my question. But, you know, since this is just a minor challenge, you know, and if you're faced with something, it's not going to be a big deal, right? You overcome that and embrace it, I feel. Something that you've been wanting for a long time is manifesting. Okay, so on to the message from the universe. Seven of Pentacles again, and the Nine of Pentacles. Nice. So, past position, we have the Seven of Pentacles. It's the same card that you have in your fear position. So, you know, that's connected with the Empress. So, you know, this is waiting for your ships to return, waiting for harvest. And this further confirmation that harvest is coming, your fruits of your labor is coming with the Nine of Pentacles as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So, everything is working out. Um, you know, this is also contemplation. It's reevaluating where you put your energy. But since there's two feminine energy here, I'm... I'm almost sensing, you know, it's the feminine who's been waiting. And as a result, the ego has taken over, taken control. However, nine of pentacles in the, is in the future. So this, again, is harvest. It's fruition. It's ripeness, readiness. Um, and what I'm seeing here is just that movement from the seven to the nine. You know, that completion is coming. Um... And this is also independence as well. So I see her freeing herself from this chain, whatever it is. Um, so I just, I feel that everything is going to work out in the future. Okay, so the external environment was the Emperor as well as the Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So Four of Wands, past position, 
is the confirmation of a twin flame connection. So that's twice the Four of Wands has shown up in your readings. This also showed up in the Twin Flame reading in the near future. So the, again, it's pointing to that deep loving connection from the past and desiring, it to, man desiring to manifest it in the future. Um, the Seven of Swords is, you know, because it's in your external environment, you, you know, you're questioning whether or not this is real, if you can trust this person, are they, you know, telling me the truth? So this could be the feminine projecting that energy to you and you're kind of picking up on it. The future position is the page of cups. So this is messages of love um, and the muse as well. So this, the muse inspires creativity. So there's a little bit of darkness and confusion surrounding this emperor energy. And again, it, this emperor could be the feminine stepping into this masculine role um, or it could be, you know, this image could be projected back at you um, from the feminine. So, yeah, either way, there's a sense it's a new beginning of this connection. Uh, there's a cycle of completion. Um, but right now there's, you know, you don't know if you can trust or she can't, she doesn't know if she can trust. Okay, so your fear position the hangman, the three of pentacles, and the chariot. So past position, hangman. Surrendering, letting go of control, swift switching perspective. And we also saw this in the twin flame reading. I think the final outcome was the hangman. So you went through a period of reevaluation and contemplation, and you did so um, in a very, you know, surrendered kind of way just letting go of control of the entire situation so that you can think about things and I'll also allow those things to work out for themselves so the three of pentacles in the present position is groundedness firm foundation feelings that you're starting to see the fruits of your labor so as a result of this surrender there was a, um, a foundation laid and those fruits are growing and will manifest as a ten in the future so this is kind of pointing to the fact that you have surrendered and you understand that destiny is, is, you know, has a plan for you and everything is proceeding according to plan, basically. So not to worry, right? This is in your fear position. Everything's going to work out. And so that we have the chariot in the future. Now in the twin flame reading, the overall message from the universe was the chariot. You're also bringing the chariot into the twin flame union. So this energy of movement forward, of taking control of your life, of directing your energy towards that goal is coming in strongly in your reading, right? We have that magician in the future. We have the transformation. We have the 10 of wands, which is a completion of a cycle. Um, and then all the emperor cards is also action as well. So there seems to be this energy of movement. And remember that there's that night of soars as well, message from the higher self is movement. So yeah, what I feel is that there may be a period of pause, but there is action or movement in the future. And the message was, you know, from the universe for you to take action, to, to do the things that you wanted to do, to say the things that you wanted to say. Okay, so I think I'm just going to pull one more card from Call It Baron Reed as another message final message what do you what other final messages do you have for the masculine this one yin very cool that was the overall uh, that was the message from the universe yin you're in the yang energy for that for this coming week so the message is to be yin that is contradictory or to reach out to your yin overcome you know the shadow side overcome your fears so that's maybe the why the the two of pentacles or sorry the ten of pentacles is coming in the future so it'll mean different things for different people all right so yin the feminine 
principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information, taking cues, the art of conscious allowing. So the relationship message, let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly, effortlessly moving closer to what you de truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and what they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. Hmm. I'm going to read the oracle message as well. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. In does not involve frozen dreams or even resting but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how, you will, how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Um, be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. So again, a sense of your dreams will be manifested in the future. Right? Dreams come true, the ten, ten of Pentacles twice, very strong energy coming in the future. Also the Master Manifester, you know, having that ab ability to you know, co-create your reality. Same thing with the Yin card as message from the universe, universe that's all about you know, manifesting, being a co-creator. Um, so you know, take what resonates. Um, if you're feeling guided to take action, um, you know, and that's what was being represented in the Twin Flame reading, then go ahead and do that. Um, if you're feeling that you need to be receptive and allow that energy to come towards you, then, you know, do that. So, again, there's a gray line between the yin and the yang in your reading, which is great to see because you're balancing these energies within yourself. There's a very strong message of that right now, so that's great. Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed this, and I do hope it makes sense. <laughs> All right, and I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers.